start off by saying that uh, last video, I mentioned that this symbol doesn't really matter, but it does. It means summation of forces. So it is very important and it matters a lot. So ignore what I said in the last video about how it doesn't matter because it does. So um, watch out for that. This is number 15 on the homework. And it says a person stands on a bathroom scale in a motionless elevator. When the elevator begins to move, the scale briefly reads only 0.75 of the person's regular weight. Calculate the acceleration of the elevator and find the direction of acceleration. Our first step is to sketch out the free body diagram and I put the person with the weight, setting on the weight inside the elevator. Oh, and with the axis because we always need our axes in this type of problem. And I wrote um, mg, which is the center of mass and the normal force. I wrote down force equals mass times acceleration and also the sum of all the forces. And uh, my next step would be to put these two together, which is MA equals FN minus MG. And we're solving for acceleration, so we just divide everything by M. So it would look like this. After that, we can start plugging in um, with the values that we have, but we only have um, the normal force. So I already plugged it in and I can tell that um, every single one of the parts has M, so we can just cross them off. They cancel out and we rewrite it. A equals 0 0.75 G minus G. Um, and G is our gravity, so we can just replace that with 9.81. After I plugged in the 9.81, I just plugged it into my calculator and I got acceleration equals negative 2.453 meters per second squared. And um, it's asking, the question is asking, calculate the acceleration of the elevator and find the direction. So we have to find two things, the acceleration and the direction of acceleration. So since we got our number to be a negative, um, we know that it's down because negative is down and the acceleration equals 2.453 meters per second squared. This is number 19 on the homework, and it says a box weighing 77 newtons rests on a table. A rope tied to the box runs vertically upward over a pulley, and a weight is hung from the other end. Determine the force that the table exerts on the box if the weight hanging on the other side of the pulley weighs A, 30 newtons, B, 60 newtons, and C, 90 newtons. I already started off by uh, drawing the free body diagram, and I added all the parts like for here, tension, um, center of mass, also center of mass, um, the normal force and the tension of this rope. I started off by writing um, that all of these forces equal to zero. And then after that, I solved for my normal force and I got Fn equals M1G minus Ft. And Ft in this case equals um, your second center of gravity, and I ended up with this. From here, I'm gonna start by solving um, each part individually. So I'm gonna start with part A, and I'm gonna write down what I got here. After that, I have to plug in my um, M1G, which is 77. So I plugged in my values, the M1G and the 77, and I also plugged in what it gave me for this weight on this side, and that's 30. So now I just solve, and my Fn would equal positive 40 newtons. So that's your answer for part A. For part B, we repeat the exact same thing. We rewrite what we got for here, and then we just plug in um, that same, uh, exactly like we did here, except instead of 30, we use 60. So all I did was repeat the exact same steps with, from here, um, except for replacing the 30 that I put here with the 60, like part B says to do. And now all I have to do is solve for C. For part C, I repeated the exact same steps that I did in A and B, except I replaced it with 9D, 
but I got negative 13 newtons and the box can't exert negative 13 newtons on the table so you're just supposed to write zero newtons because that's how much it exerts because it's not exerting any force on the table so those would be our answers for each of the parts this is number 25 on the homework and it says one 3.2 kilogram bucket is hanging by a massless cord from another 3.2 kilogram paint bucket also hanging by a massless cord a if the buckets are at rest what is the tension in each cord b if the two buckets are pulled upward with an acceleration of 1.60 meters per second squared by the upper cord, calculate the tension in each cord. I started off by sketching out my free body diagram and I labeled each part. Um, tension 1, um, the mg and also mg and tension 2. And I also split off the different areas that I'm going to be working because um, I have limited space and I don't want to have to erase some parts of the problem just to write out another part. The first part that I started with was force equals mass times acceleration and then I wrote force also equals um, tension 2 minus mg equals 0 and so I just rewrote that part alone and then I isolated the mg and now it's time to plug in our values that we have that the question gave us. I just rewrote tension equals mass times gravity and then I plugged in the values that the question gave us which is 3.2 and 9.81 and then after plugging that into my calculator I got 31.392 newtons. I rewrote the equation that I originally got here and I wrote down what we have as our mass which is just 3.2 because we're looking for the tension between one bucket and then the acceleration is 9.81 plus 1.6 because the question tells us that it's being pulled upward with 1.6 meters per second squared. So we just add the two and then plug it in. I added my axis because I originally forgot to write it. And I also plugged this into the calculator, which it gives me 36.512 newtons. Now I'm just focusing on the tension with the other rope and it's at rest. So our mass would be 3.2 since it's both of the buckets. Um, and then our acceleration is 9.81 since it's just at rest and gravity is acting on the buckets. After plugging that into my calculator, I get the tension of the rope being 62.784 newtons. Since we're looking for the tension of the rope holding the two buckets, our mass is going to be 3.2 times 2 since it's holding the two buckets. And our acceleration is 9.81 plus 1.6 meters per second squared because the buckets aren't at rest and it's being pulled upwards. After plugging that into the calculator, I get um, my tension with that rope to be 73.024 newtons. Thank you for watching the video, that was the last question, and if you have any questions or you want me to do any specific problems, let me know, and uh, like and subscribe, so yeah, bye!